Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this video, we're going to talk about frequency fine tuning on the multi protocol module found in radios like the RadioMaster TX16S. If your radio has a multi protocol module like this RadioMaster TX16S, that means it can pair with a bunch of different receivers using a bunch of different protocols. And because the manufacturing specs aren't owned by the multi protocol manufacturers, they don't have the exact center frequency for all these different protocols. That means it's up to you to kind of tune it in, just like you used to tune your TV back in the old days using that little dial. We just have to find that center and get the sharpest signal we can. That's the purpose of frequency fine tuning. So we have to conduct frequency fine tuning to ensure our multi protocol module matches the receiver frequencies we're using with these different protocols. The next question is when do you perform frequency fine tuning? And the very simple answer is that when you select a protocol on your radio, so I've got RF protocol FreeSky X2, when you select that protocol, if frequency fine tuning presents itself as an option, you should conduct it. The good news is that once you figure out what your fine tuning value is for a given protocol, in my case, FreeSky X2, then I don't have to do frequency fine tuning again for the next FreeSky uh, free X2 protocol receiver. Once you find what the value is for a given protocol, you can reuse it. That's the key. On your screen, you see a list of protocols that require frequency fine tuning. Don't worry, I'll put a link in the description on how you can find this information. Next up is the how. Let's get into the how we conduct frequency fine tuning. So what I'll do first is set the radio aside and I'm gonna show you that I've got an, a FreeSky S8R, that's Sierra 8 Romeo, and I've got it connected to a power source and it's bound to my radio. So the first step is you have to bind your receiver to your radio. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, so please don't ask questions in the comments about how to bind. That's not what this video is about. What this video is about is to show you how to do the frequency fine tuning. So make sure you bind your receiver to your radio. You can tell I've got mine bound because I've got a little green LED there. And when we look at the radio, you can see I've got RSSI coming in. So we're bound up to that receiver. Okay, to conduct the frequency fine tune, what you're gonna do is put your cursor on the frequency fine tune field and take note of your RSSI. In my case right now, it's 105. I'll also make a comment that you may wonder if you need to put it in low power mode. There is no step in the multi-protocol module documentation for putting the radio in, in low power mode. It does not specify taking that action in the instructions on the NPM website. So for that reason, I'm not going to do it. You may have a different opinion, that's fine. I'm going to leave it without going into low power mode because the instructions don't specify to do that. The next thing I'll do is highlight the frequency fine tune field and I'll press enter on the jog dial and now I'm going to start scrolling. And what we're looking for is this RSSI value to drop off. So I kind of know where mine drops off. So I'm just going to get there real quick and then we'll start paying attention. When you start getting into that range, you look for that RSSI value to drop. And then when it drops, you're going to take note of that value. So I'm at 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. There we go. So 70. So we're around 68 to 70. That's the range. So when I come back up to 67, you see how I climb right back up there? So that tells me that at 60, 69 or 70, I'm getting to the edge of the frequency center range. There's 69. That's my number. So take note of that number, 69 for the high value, that's the right hand or the high point of the frequency range. Now I'm gonna go down the other direction and we're gonna look for where it drops off going to the left. So we're just gonna scroll left and look at the negative values and we'll get down into the 60s or close to the 60s again because that's about where it should drop off. And there's negative 55, I'm seeing a little fluctuation. There's 56. Okay, so 63, 62, does it come back at 62? No, 61, come on back, come on back. Okay, there it is, so 60, we'll call it 60. Okay, I'm just gonna call it 60, I think 61. Okay, so at 61, that's where it drops off. At 60, it looks like I'm okay. So I'm gonna use 61 as my value. Okay, so I have two values now, 69 and negative 61. So the next thing to do is combine those values. So if I add 69 and negative 61, I come up with a value of eight. 
And when I take eight and divide it by two, I get a value of four. That's the formula. That's why I had a value of four in my frequency fine tune. So with a value of four, what that does is it puts the frequency for the center point on the MPM on the FreeSky X2 protocol at a value of four. So it just slightly moves the center point over just a little bit, and that's a frequency fine tune. That's the dead center for FreeSky X2 on this particular MPM. Okay, for my radio, the frequency fine tune value for FreeSky X2 is four. Your radio might be a little bit different than mine, so don't worry about it if it comes out a little bit different. That's the very nature of frequency fine tuning. It's to accommodate hardware variants in the multi-protocol module. So if yours is slightly off or different from mine, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just follow the procedure and you'll be okay. All right, that wraps up what I've got for frequency fine tuning on the multi-protocol module. I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.